Hi there. There are various measures of income inequality in a country. Uh, the most famous probably is the Gini coefficient. Many students understand that. Increasingly, students and teachers are looking at another measure of inequality called the Palmer Ratio. So this short video takes you through what the Palmer Ratio is and some data for different countries. So the Palmer Ratio is a measure of inequality and it's measured as follows. It's the ratio of the income of the richest 10% of the population divided by the income of the poorest 40%. So it's basically the 10% richest people, their income, divided by the income of the bottom 40%. Based, as you'd expect, on the work of Palmer, who found using research that middle class incomes always account for around about half of national income. And oftentimes the other half is split between the richest 10% and the poorest 40%. Indeed, for some economists, inclusive development now is all about trying to focus on lifting the, the disposable incomes of the poorest 40% of households. So the Palmer ratio becomes important. This table shows countries with some of the lowest Palmer ratios, averaging out for the years 2005 to 2013. We find that Norway, Denmark and Sweden have a Palmer ratio of less than one. So the income of the top 10% is actually less than the income of the bottom 40, just. And we have a cluster of country, countries where it's above one. UK, for example, 1.7. And then some countries, these are developed nations, of course, a country like Chile, the Palmer ratio is much higher. So there's more inequality in Chile. Indeed, it's the country with the highest income inequality amongst OECD countries. Notice too that uh, countries with a low Palmer ratio tend to have a very low Gini coefficient, which I put on the right hand side for emphasis. So Chile has a Palmer ratio of 3.3, the highest, easily the highest of those countries, and of course it has a significantly higher Gini coefficient. The United States has a higher Palmer ratio than the UK, and also a, high, a higher Gini coefficient. So that's for countries with low, in, uh, low income inequality. Here's a contrast. Here's the Palmer ratio for countries with the highest income inequality in 2014. I'm drawing here on data from the 2015 Human Development Index. So Shell's had the highest Gini coefficient, um, 6 uh, 6, 6, uh, 0.658 in 2014, 65.8 if you express as 100. It had a very high Palmer ratio of 6.4. South Africa actually had a marginally lower Gini coefficient, but it has the highest Palmer ratio of the, of the countries published. The top 10% of income earners in South Africa have eight times, repeat, eight times the income of the bottom 40%. And clearly these are countries, countries like Zambia and Honduras, Botswana, with very, very high levels of income inequality. Okay, so that is a look at the measure of income inequality known as the Palmer Ratio.